A small lumber mill north of Spokane is leading the way in producing bioenergy. It's also creating much needed jobs at the same time. Springdale Lumber and Bioenergy is reopened in an old sawmill about a year and a half ago. Their goal, to build a self-sustaining mill and power plant. Today, they took a giant step toward making that happen. KXLY4's Aaron Luna tells us how waste is being turned into power. And it's the leftover scrap like this piece of wood or anything you see in this pile. We have branches, old bark, just a bunch of rubble that you wouldn't be able to use. That is going to be turned into energy to power the sawmill and it's also going to go back into the town. Mill manager Dean Golden operates a saw at Springdale Lumber and Bioenergy. Working in the lumber business for 20 plus years, Golden knows his way around timber. He also knows how important restarting the old Springdale mill was to the town's residents. They've been out of jobs or working part-time jobs and uh, this has been a real asset to the to local community. Aside from jobs, the sawmill will also be creating new energy. We will use about a quarter of a megawatt and then we'll put about three quarter to the grid. That's enough electricity to power 220 homes for a year. Dale Borgford bought the old mill almost five years ago with the plan to build a bioenergy plant. Because it's costing us $15,000 a month to pay a Vista for electricity. And I'd rather send them a bill than send me a bill. The new biomass plant will take the leftovers from the mill. That includes sawdust, unused cuttings, branches, small treetops, things normally tossed aside. Go oh, into a ravine someplace if no one catches you. Then in a special oven yet to be installed, they will be burned. The process will generate electricity. The heat will be used to dry green wood and the leftover ash can be used to fertilize crops. The type of oil will also be produced. The key part is to uh you know, keep these people work and keep jobs created. The new plant received federal funding and the Department of Natural Resources is hoping this type of bioenergy can be utilized in other areas. Borgford already has plans to build a five megawatt power station seven miles to the north. And for Golden, that's good news. These guys that are on board right now, they're going to be a big part of getting this thing up and running. They've been helping out in the mill and, you know, if we're not running a full 40, uh, we've been utilizing them into the bioenergy and, and construction. The hope here is to have everything completed in December so they can light the flame and flip on the switch. Reporting in Springdale, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.